I'm in all in anorexia recovery. I want to be 100% recovered from anorexia. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a long time since I've just sat down in front of a camera and spoken. I think the last time I filmed a video was early December. So I was gonna say sorry about that, but honestly I'm not sorry about it because I was putting my mental health first and doing what was best for me. And one of the things I'm trying to do this year is teach myself that I don't have to apologize for everything. And also that I don't owe everyone things all the time. So that's that. I've missed you, I've missed making content, so I'm back. Today is gonna to be a Q&A because I have made it one year in recovery. One whole year of getting myself back and growing and beating anorexia. And honestly, it's been the most crazy, intense and wonderful year of my life. I've grown so much, I've done so much, I've achieved so much. So I thought I'd just talk about how I'm feeling a year on after making the decision to get my life back and recover from anorexia. Without further ado, let's just get into this because I could waffle for hours. First question is, how are you in general at the moment? Just a general update, not necessarily mental health related. How I am generally kind of is very intertwined with my mental health so I'm gonna have to speak about that a bit um, but I'm okay I can't lie I'm not wonderful I am NOT doing the best that I've ever done however eating related I'm doing really well I'm keeping on top of my meals and snacks I'm eating enough I'm still challenging myself so much I'm doing things socially with my friends and my boyfriend and challenging fears and rules and habits um, I'm letting myself rest Anorexia recovery wise, I'm doing incredibly, incredibly well, especially given the circumstances. The rest of my mental health, however, is not the best in the world. It's been worse. It's also been a lot better. I don't really talk about the other things I have going on with my mental health. I know I have spoken about the fact that I suffer with depression and anxiety on here. There are also other things going on that I just don't talk about. I just don't feel comfortable talking about it. I find it very hard to even open up to the people close to me about it. So I won't really speak about it on here at the moment. Maybe one day though, you never know. So how am I? My mood has been very low. I was basically coming off the antidepressant I was on that was kind of keeping me, I guess, stable and keeping my mood up a bit been on it since 2018 I decided I wanted to come off them I thought it would be best for me was it the best thing for me maybe not at that point in time I do still believe that I will be okay without it but um it kind of just sent me down a bit of a spiral this was like maybe two days after I filmed my last video so like early slash mid December my mood just got really low I was very anxious all the time and then the nausea hit and the loss of appetite hit and it made my eating disorder recovery so much harder and I obviously pushed through it all like genuinely I just had to ignore it and eat high calorie foods to, to get as much in as I could while I was feeling so nauseous I kept going with that but the nausea the loss of appetite made it already difficult I'm doing okay not the best hence why I haven't been on here but yeah next question is do you regret recovery and my answer is no not one single bit of me like the genuine me regrets recovering not one bit my life has changed so much and yeah the last year of my life has been incredibly incredibly hard because i made the decision to completely turn it around from rock bottom but i don't regret a single day of it i don't regret any of it i wouldn't do any of it differently all of it has helped me grow and learn and get to where i am now and i don't regret it i've gotten to a place where i do not hate the fact that i'm in this body i wouldn't trade the freedom that i have now for anything i don't care if i was in a smaller body my life was horrendous horrendous like I had nothing I was nobody I was completely empty and I said this the other day when I was talking to my boyfriend I kind of explained like when I was deep in anorexia it numbed all the sadness I had it numbed all the pain I had but you know what it also numbed all the good times I could not feel any enjoyment I had no hope of any happiness so do I regret it? No. Does anorexia sometimes try to tell me that I'd be happier in a smaller body? Yes. Do I know that that's not true? Also yes. So no, I don't regret it one bit. Also, I'd just like to say, I'm filming this kind of late in the afternoon. It's quite dim outside. Um, so I'm working on like limited light. So I'm gonna speak fast. What are you the most proud of? I think I'm the most proud of the fact that in a year, I got my body to a healthy place. I got my social life back and I faced literally every fear I had. I do still have a couple of like fear foods that are involved in other challenges that I haven't faced, but in terms of the actual food, I have challenged everything. I can now eat cheese, I can eat pizza, I can eat pasta, I can eat donuts, I can eat cakes, I can eat anything. And I'm really proud of myself for that. Also really proud of the fact that I did it all by myself with obviously you guys' help, but I kind of 
ditched off my therapist and did it myself so you know do you still eat around the clock or do you just eat whenever generally i just eat whenever i used to be so rigid on timings and i cared so much about like my snack is at 10 30 a.m i will eat it then i wouldn't let myself have it before and i'd panic if it was after whereas now i generally just eat whenever as i said recently my hunger signals have been completely out of whack i have not been hungry at all so i have had to get a bit more rigid but it's generally around the hour if not the two hours like sometimes i've eaten later because things have come up and i've had to do that and i'm absolutely fine with it it doesn't make me anxious at all i was up the other night and i got that feeling in my stomach of like nausea and like i was really really hungry um and it was literally 2 a.m and i just went and ate at 2 a.m and it didn't bother me i didn't feel guilty that i'd like eaten something at 2 a.m i don't care about timings anymore um which is a really great feeling because i know me a year ago would have freaked the hell out if i knew i was doing that exercise how is your relationship with it and how did you reintroduce it throughout my anorexia i think i really struggled with my relationship with exercise which is why i've had to be really careful while bringing exercise into recovery and also just keeping a tab on whether i'm actually doing it in a healthy way i would say right now i am because i don't exercise particularly often i get most of my exercise from going on walks which is more beneficial to my mental health generally than it is about my body and generally i find exercise like a boost in my day i don't really feel like i'm doing it to change my body i definitely don't do it to lose weight i definitely don't i want to like tone up some of my muscles and just feel a bit stronger but none of it's about weight and i I'm not obsessed with it like I, I think I've been like a, a week and a half now of not doing any exercise because I've been feeling very rubbish my relationship with it is fine and the way I introduced it was actually just doing gentle things first telling people that I was doing it so that they could tell me if they thought I was doing too much and just being really mindful with myself about it as well the sun is literally setting or the clouds are covering and it's gonna get really dark so speed do you still feel bad about your body this is a difficult one uh a lot of the time yes equally a lot of the time no it's really strange like i go through phases where i'm like i can so live in this body this is fine this is my body i'm just going to accept it and i'm not 100 percent of the way there it's very much faking it till i make it um but then I have other times where I look in the mirror and I want to scream and I just, I'm like, I can't stand this, I don't like it at all. But I would say that the kind of positive opinion on my body kind of does outweigh the negative at the moment. And I can take a step back and realise that the times I'm feeling really, really shit about my body are when I'm feeling more stressed about other things in my life. And I can link that I'm actually just taking out the stress and the angst I feel on myself and on my body and just choosing my body as like a target it's the same way as like bullies like have something going on in their life and that's making them unhappy so they'll pick on like an innocent person literally what i do with my body like i'll be angry or i'll be upset about something else and i'll be like, right let's make this about my body like what can i find to hate about myself but i've realized that i do that so that's helping a lot i do still feel bad about my body but i also feel good about my body sometimes i'm getting there have you been able to meet new people this year? Like, has recovery allowed you to be more social? Yes. This is the thing. I mean, I would now have met new people. I, I have anxiety and I struggle with meeting new people. Um, but throughout 2021, I met my boyfriend basically, and then I've also like met his friends. I've met Molly. I met my friend Chloe. I feel like there's more people that I'm just not remembering. There definitely are, and I think it's something I'm working on as well. Like, I really want to be able to go out and do more, but I definitely am more social for sure. Like I've said so many times on this channel, I could not even hold conversation. And I think if you watch my first videos back, you can tell the difference in like the way I spoke. Do you find recovery easier or harder in regards to having a significant other that was a mouthful a hell of a lot easier to be honest it's like having someone who's a constant support but i know he's chosen to be like that and he's chosen to stick with me i really struggle with feeling like a burden on people a lot of the time there's an airplane going over what the hell was i saying Oh, I'm also very lucky because my boyfriend loves to cook. So I've been able to do a hell of a lot of challenges with him and challenge my sort of things of letting other people cook for me. Also, I generally think knowing that somebody loves you and wants to be with you when you're struggling with your body image and you're struggling with your self-worth is going to boost you naturally. You shouldn't have to rely on other people for that. And I don't fully rely on him for that, but obviously it's going to help. How do you cope with not knowing your weight? Sorry if this is too much. It's not too much. I'm coping really well. I'm coping way better with it than I would be if I knew my weight. I haven't weighed myself since, I want to say November. I think I 
geez, have I not weighed myself since November? I think I haven't, if not very early December. Um, it's helped me so much. At this point in time, I kind of wish I could never see my body because the only times I really spiral are when I scrutinize myself in a mirror, which I don't do very often because there's no full length mirrors at my boyfriend's house. But when I'm at home, I have two massive mirrors in my room and I stand there and I stare at myself and I don't do it as often anymore. But like, I think that kind of links to knowing my weight. If I knew my weight, I would be scrutinizing that and I'd start feeling like I had to control my food again, probably. I don't know that for certain because I haven't tested it but I think not knowing my weight is really, really helpful for me. It definitely took a bit to adjust to to start with and I was like, oh God, I have to know it. I need to know it. I really need to know what this is because I need to control it and I need to be able to manage it and if it goes out of control, but I've taught myself that it's not gonna go out of control if I trust my body. So I find it a lot easier now. Is every meal still a struggle? No, <laughs> just point blank, no. Are there meal times where I struggle? Yeah, 70% of them I don't anymore. I think the actual physical act of eating now is mainly a struggle when I feel nauseous or when my head is going completely crazy which does happen every so often. I think I more struggle with the effect that food has on my body now or my perceived effect of what food has on my body but no every meal is not a struggle I enjoy a lot of meals. Are you ever scared you might fall back a step it's been my greatest fear. Yeah for sure I think when the nausea came and the loss of appetite came recently I was terrified. Also was terrified of getting covid and losing my senses like smell and taste and it causing me to like go back. It's scares me so much. I just want to keep going forward. I'm a big believer in the fact that relapses are not a part of recovery and that you can just keep going and keep going because I have. Doesn't mean I haven't had times where I've struggled more but I also haven't acted on that and I've kept going so I do get scared of it but I think I know I can manage it. Best thing related to recovery that's happened in the past week. I had Domino's the other day, like the pizza thing. I had it a couple times now and it was actually really really lovely. I think that's just a reminder that I can do things now and I feel anxiety but I overcome it. I also spoke on the radio the other day about eating disorders and my YouTube and stuff and like I know that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't been in recovery and that was very cool. So would you say you feel free with food after one year of recovery? I feel quite free with food i don't feel entirely free with food um it's definitely something i'm working towards there are definitely like fears in my head there are definitely still times where in my head i think i can't have something because i've had something else in a kind of compensation way and i still worry about eating too much of one certain thing in one day or but i can overcome it and it is something i'm working on and i don't really give in to it um it's just the thought that's there i'm not 100 percent free but i will be are you generally happier now for sure the stuff i've been dealing with for the past month since my medical medication changed and things like that would for sure have made me completely spiral and go back to anorexia had I not come so far in my recovery. So what I'm saying is like if I was a bit further back in my anorexia recovery I think I would have spiraled and wanted to go backwards but because I have made myself so much happier and I've surrounded myself with people that I love and that love me and I've worked so hard and I, my body is healthy and I can feel positive emotions I am so much happier despite bad things going on. What's the biggest lesson from the last year? <sighs> Probably learning that my body is fighting for me and is keeping me alive and has never tried to do anything to hurt me and that no matter how I feel about myself, my body is always going to deserve nourishment and always going to deserve food. And actually, along with that, I deserve food and I deserve to enjoy food. I'd probably say that's the biggest lesson I've learned and begun to believe. <laughs> If the camera's changed positions and it just got darker, that would be because I just had to delete a ton of stuff off my camera because I ran out of storage because I'm really bad at clearing it. <laughs> so uh, I think I finished that question. What are your top three mantras for when you're having a bad brain day and want to give up? My body is my home and I'm gonna love and respect it. Be kind to yourself you're doing your best and I deserve to eat and I deserve to rest. What do you still struggle with most? Fear foods, eating with others, decisions. Probably decisions. I've gotten quite good at eating with others. I've now eaten with all my best friends, my boyfriend, my nan, my family. I had a family party and I ate there. My boyfriend's family. I'm sure I've eaten in restaurants. My best friend's family. There's a bunch. Of, like I've eaten with a ton of people so not that. As I said about fear foods, not really that either. Decisions. Uh, I'm really bad at deciding things and it really stresses me out. Also my camera's about to die. Why is it doing this? My camera just died. Just roll with it. How has the support from professionals changed? I worry they'll stop giving me help. I was the one that chose to leave the eating disorder service because I got to a place where they believed I was doing well enough because I was and I knew I was doing well enough and I knew that they were holding me back and making me feel worse. It was the kind of like 
constant expectation that I would be really struggling with things that made me feel like I would never be able to move away from struggling with things. I still have been supported by my general mental health team and therapy within that. If you're in therapy and you're having support, I suppose they'll give you support until you don't need the support, but that's not always the case with all mental health services. Just make sure you're not keeping yourself ill to get their help because the whole aim is to get better and you are allowed to do it by yourself. You can do it by yourself. It's not always going to be the easiest thing for everyone and you definitely will need support around you, but you don't always have to rely on services. If you could send a message to Ro from a year ago, what would you say? So, the date is the 19th of January. A year ago, I had 12 days until my 19th birthday. I was freaking the hell out about having a birthday cake. I was very ill, my body wasn't in a good place, and generally I spent my days feeling very dissociative and crying a lot. So I'd probably just say to myself, like, listen, if you keep this going and you face the challenges and you try your hardest every day the same way you are doing now, you are gonna be fine. Things are going to work out. They're not gonna be perfect. They're not gonna be fixed, but you're gonna be a hell of a lot better off. You're gonna actually find yourself a beautiful life and be happy with where you are and happy with the journey that you're on, knowing that you're not fully there yet. And you'll meet wonderful people, people that you didn't know. Just keep going. Your life is gonna change and you will be great grateful that you stayed strong and eat the cake eat the cake you can do it spoiler alert i ate the cake um a tip you would give people who aren't sure if they're ready to recover there's never going to be a right time like you are never going to get to a place where you're like you know what i'm ready now i feel like a low enough weight i feel like i've suffered enough like i deserve it now your net the anorexia if it is anorexia you're struggling with is never ever going to let you get to that point it will want you to keep going and keep going and keep going it's never going to give in you have to make the decision you're never going to feel ready no one else can do it for you if not now then when because i know for a fact if i hadn't chosen to do it on the 26th of december it was never going to happen and making that decision then as not ready ready as I felt and as scared as I felt and as invalid as I felt and all of that, it got me to the place I am now. So what made you decide to recover? Was there a special reason? I was very unwell. I was meant to go into hospital on Christmas Eve. They let me stay at home because it was my first Christmas at home. So they let me stay at home for Christmas day and then I had to go in on Boxing Day. Being in hospital around Christmas time, yet again, feeling as awful as I felt, having no relationship with my family, having just missed out on Christmas, being so fed up of the life I was living, I just didn't want to carry on like that anymore and I found it really hard to admit that I was struggling with anorexia because I always wanted to deny it but I think accepting that actually it was the restrictions I was putting on my life in terms of nutrition and rest that were making me utterly miserable um, and not allowing me to feel any good I'd say that's what made me decide to recover. Have you noticed that injuries tend to heal better throughout recovery? 100% Yes, I was so shaky when I was like in early recovery. I managed to like bite into my finger when I was eating something once and it took ages to heal. Also, one of the physical things I had up with me was that I had bad blood. I'm not gonna say exactly what because I don't wanna cause competition or make things weird, but um, it meant that like my body just wasn't healing things and I'd had this piercing in my ear. I've got my conch piercing. It was meant to be fully healed basically and it was just not healing whatsoever. It would not heal one bit and then as soon as my blood's got better because I was in recovery it just healed up and it's been healed for ages now and hasn't gone back for sure. Injuries definitely heal better. Oh that was the last question. Well there we go. I hope this was a good q and I hope you took something from it. I hope it helped you somehow. General update, I am doing really 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 well. I'm so glad I chose to recover a year ago. I'm gonna keep making YouTube videos. I've just been very down and the thought of making a video when I felt so nauseous just wasn't gonna happen. But here's to a year in recovery. Here's to a year of fighting. Here's to almost a year of having this channel and a full year of having a lot of you guys around from TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already and take care of yourself. I will see you soon.